Hello everyone and welcome back. Meghan Markle is the daughter of former social worker and yoga instructor Doria Rugland and retired television director of photography and lighting director Thomas Markle Sr. She is her mother's only child but has two older paternal half-siblings, Samantha Markle and Thomas Markle Jr. The Duchess of Sussex is reportedly estranged from her half-siblings and neither was invited to her royal wedding to Prince Harry in May 2018 or has been invited to meet baby Archie Harrison Melba in Windsor. Now, Meghan Markle's sister has claimed the Duchess faked baby Archie's christening and has branded her as disgrace to the family. New mother Meghan celebrated her 38th birthday on Sunday, receiving hundreds of birthday messages from well-wishers around the globe, including members of her married family, the Queen, Prince Charles and Camilla, the Duchess of Cornwall, and Prince William and Kate Middleton. However, ahead of her birthday, the 54-year-old Samantha Markle launched yet more abuse towards Meghan, calling her callous, shameful and a disgrace to the Markle family name, according to the Daily Star Online. But how did this raging feud first begin? In 2016, Meghan Markle was revealed to be dating Prince Harry. The first time Samantha Markle hit out at her sister was in November when she called the then 35-year-old girlfriend of Prince Harry a shallow social climber who loved watching him and Prince William on TV. She added that the former actress has always had a soft spot for gingers and said Meghan's ultimate dream had always been to become a princess. She also slammed her half-sister's appropriateness as a royal saying her behavior is certainly not befitting of a royal family member. In Raider Online, Samantha said the royal family would be appealed by what she's done to her own family. The truth would kill her relationship with Prince Harry. In April 2017, news reports revealed the estranged half-sister was planning to release a tell-all book about growing up with Meghan, with a working title said to be The Diary of a Princess Bush's Sister. Tweeting the news, Samantha wrote, maybe when she's more mature and she reads the book, she'll understand some of it. She won't like some of it. She also accused Meghan of having no basic human consideration. On Twitter she wrote, but nice that someone worth 7 million will use her voice. A few auction shoes and handbags would help a lot of those girls in India. When Harry and Meghan announced their engagement, there was a brief reprieve from the upset, with many people accusing Samantha of trying to get an invite. Speaking live on Good Morning Britain with Piers Morgan and Susanna Reid, she called Meghan's relationship with very real and normal. She said she's very creative, charming, lovely, full of life, very vibrant, and she's never changed. She's just so sweet and charming. She added, I've seen that so much in her recently. She's overwhelmingly happy, she's just bubbling. Responding to claims about their bitter disputes, she said, This is a joyous occasion, so I think any sort of misconception that was out there, we have let bygones be bygones and really just be happy moving forward. This is so special and important that all of that is just silly and we really want her to be happy. Speaking on Good Morning Britain about being invited to the wedding, she said, I don't know if I would be hurt, but out of love and respect I would go. The harmony continued even when Prince Harry, speaking on BBC Radio 4, said Meghan's done an absolutely amazing job. She's getting in there and it's the family I suppose that she's never had. Samantha reacted on Twitter writing, Actually, she has a large family who were always there with her and for her. However, she later insisted Harry's comments were not hurtful and added, My response was very positive, verbatim and taken far out of context. There was never slamming, it was never negative. And you know, so respectfully so, Harry said a lovely thing. But, and it's true, marrying merely extends that family. As Samantha began to realize she would not be invited to the wedding, the insults came thick and fast. In January 2018, Samantha said, if you can spend $75,000 on a dress, you can spend $75,000 on your debt. In February 2018, Samantha accused Meghan's humanitarian work of being an exploitive and just a photo opportunity. Speaking to Australian show A Current Affair, she said, I've seen in my lifetime a lot of situations wherein celebrities visit a place that is poverty stricken and they're wearing impeccable clothing. They themselves are wealthy and it really feels like just a photo opportunity. So that is a little exploitive in my mind. When it emerged that the couple were inviting more than 2,000 members of the public to their wedding, Samantha bitterly attacked the Duchess once again. She tweeted, Out of respect and humanitarianism, the Marcos should be 
invited if 2,000 complete strangers are. Our uncle, brother, me, best friend of 30 years, nephews, at issue is not a matter of closeness, family is family. Speaking to the Daily Mail, she added, a humanitarian would never exclude 10 family members in life of inviting 2,000 strangers. She later added, I have always spoken highly about the traits of my sister that I admire and her yet because I speak the truth about something like this, I'm controversial. I'm not the one who is controversial, but through this she owes it to the family to be respectful and reciprocate the dignity of a wedding invite. She even tweeted a fake account for Prince Harry saying, it's time to man up. Shouts out about humanitarianism don't work when you're allowing Meg to ignore the Markles. It is a contradiction. Someone must point out that the Emperor is not wearing any clothes. After the wedding, Samantha continued to make gibbets such as accusing Doria Rugland of cashing in on her daughter by sharing some photos that only she could have had, calling Meghan the Duchess of Nonsense, saying Prince Harry should have married Cressida and Diana would be ashamed. Speaking on Good Morning Britain, she pleaded with Meghan to visit her dying father, despite him being alive and well. She told the presenters, it is so critical and unfair that if there's a misunderstanding, she needs to clarify because life is very short. He is 74 and I feel if something happened to him and he passed away, none of us could live with the fact he died unhappy and there was no closure. I believe she would want that also. After Thomas Marco Sr. told press, the Duchess had asked him to tell Samantha to stop speaking about her and stop speaking to her, her himself. She launched yet another attack on Meghan, accusing her of seemingly turning her back on their father. She said, there would be no just reason for her not to want him in her life, as he was good enough to use to make her everything she is. She should be grateful, her diplomacy skills suck and are inhumane. If you treat your own father like this, Harry is next. She added, there is no room for a greedy, arrogant, disciple, fake humanitarian on this world stage. How dare she? Disgusting. Samantha even journeyed to London in a bit to meet the Duchess of Sussex one-on-one, -on -one, however was removed by palace security when she arrived unannounced. Speaking during a Jeremy Vine interview while in the UK, she said, is it more insulting that people respond to feeling disregarded and feeling ignored, or is it best everyone continues saying nothing? In the beginning, when we were speaking open-heartedly, I thought we were being favorable and that we fell on deaf ears. In October 2018, Samantha Markle called Meghan delusional and a liar for missing out a very important detail in her speech about university. Writing on her Twitter, she said, Dad paid her college tuition. She forgot the most important part of her speech and there are receipts to prove it. I love my sister, but this is ridiculous. You can't lie like this, Meg. Delusionally absurd. She took yet another swipe on Twitter at her sister after seeing the couple's Christmas card last year where she wrote Interesting that the Duke and Duchess of Sussex had their backs turned. Is it this towards the world or just the Raglan and Markle family? It's a bit sad, face the Christmas spirit. After Christmas, the insults continued in a series of tweets. The first of the brutal tweets read my life is great and after having a heart attack, the wedding and now two Christmases, she does not even call him. Humanitarian Mike. She then posted, I've never seen anyone so rude and hurtful and heartless and absent a soul in my life. Shame on you for what you have done to our father. No PR machine can fix this. I retract the Merry Christmas, you don't deserve it. How dare you walk into a church. And she then wrote, forgive and reunite and have the Christmas spirit and a peaceful heart. Thank you so much for joining us and hope to see you again next time. Bye!